like to think that we've impacted the theater in a way of, in terms of vision and longer lobbed projects, um, and even in terms of having sort of playwrights dropping in and out. They've always had the Mighty Writers Lab as like a playwrights group, but in terms of us kind of going out into the world and putting Mighty out there and kind of traveling around and putting the theater as like sort of our home base. I think a lot of people are now associating us as part of Mai, as ambassadors to Mai, and sort of connecting a lot of young Asian American artists to us in terms of like, hey, you guys know Mai, can you sit down with this uh, student in college and talk to them a little bit about playwriting, about the world, about theater, and about Mai. And so I think actually in terms of just that aspect of it, it's we've really impacted the theater. Yeah, I think that um, in a way, like there's a continuity to this experiment because um, the the Mai Lab started in like 2004 and we gathered up a bunch of Asian American playwrights and, and we sort of keep on asking ourselves like, what does Asian American plays look like? And like, why do you need a lab? And we have to sort of keep on finding new answers to that. Um, so I think that this is a huge experiment in kind of how do you uh, how do you keep artists engaged over a long term and um, how does your work like evolve within a community and get disseminated out of just sort of our circle and uh, so even over the course of this year and a half like uh, uh, we've been endeavoring to do that by our sheer existence and this has helped us to exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I mean, the really, Mike and Rohan are not just individual playwrights. They're also married and they're also parents. And so all of that sort of happened while they were at Mai. In fact, they Probably met Probably because of Mai. Mai. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a unique, really unique relationship. And I feel like this residency has allowed these two to sort of to sort of relax and feel more grounded and be able to work in in a way that they would not have been able to do that uh, to do and to tackle large scale projects which is no, no, you know Asian American writers don't get to do I don't know of any Asian American writer who's gotten this kind of residency maybe except for David but this is like a a, a really big big change for these two and I'm and I'm learning along with them so that that's that that I think they're they're able to spread their wings a little bit more and in the couple of two, two years I've seen that and I think Mike is uh, has really softened as a playwright mostly because of Zayden <laughs> um, I would also say that you're really a champion of like uh, artist driven programming and very open about um, like uh, this is how our funding works and this is how our workshopping works and sort of like what, what are you going to take uh, how are you going to take that and sort of model things yourself and so this gives us the ability to do that and it's manifested in different ways yeah, yeah and I think just even we brought Zayden like toted him to meetings and brought him around and done a lot of um, things as an artist couple with a child that I think at this juncture in our lives, without the theater support, we probably wouldn't be, like, one of us would kind of have to take some time off and not yeah. be playwriting. And also, you know, I think they, 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 they were able to ask for a, more agency in their work, not just with me, but with other theaters, mm -hmm. um, because they sort of have, have experience with it. And uh, so that the, 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 the future, whatever they do in other theaters is not simply transactional, that there should be something else. I think that's what the, yeah. so the evolving lesson is of this residence. Actually, for the HowlRound article, too, uh, that we did, um, one theater said that they read it and then instituted a stipend for childcare for their directors for a program based mm -hmm. off of that article. Mm -hmm. um, or they found like, an intern to watch a kid. No. <laughs> uh, but either way, it worked. Great. Thank you. <laughs>